But who's seen this dude on TikTok? Like, I'll get on TikTok lives and I'll see this right here, like, pop up. Like, my for you. It's always live on TikTok. So I was like, I got on YouTube today and I saw a video about him and it said downfall of DK and TikTok. And I was like, I know nothing about this dude. I've always seen him on like. So I was like, bet, let's watch this. Check this out. So got some TikToker drama in the building. So. Oh. Introducing D Kane. You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. That's a crazy, like, this is like the final boss Edgar cut, dude. This is an insane Edgar cut. I thought I had crazy hair, but like, this Edgar cut is next level. You calling this girl right here a wifey, right? She's 51 backwards. Damn, calling a 15 year old wife. How old is he? He's got a good amount of tattoos. 20 plus, probably. An insane cut. Nah, you're weird, DK, bro. I thought you were something. I thought you were different, bro. In today's video, they're all typing pedo cane in the chat. Yo, we're gonna be talking about a beloved TikToker that got exposed for some bizarre things. And if you can, it would mean a lot if you could subscribe. But enough of my yapping and enjoy the video. Yo, what up, Sinstra? Bro, we're both sins. Yo. D. Kane or Dustin Kane is a 20 year old TikToker. Uh, he's 20. Yeah, I'd say being 20 years old talking to a 15 year old makes you a pedophile. From Texas, the first type of content that oh, D. Kane would create were cringy thirst traps. Texas. Many people would dislike D. Kane a lot, and there's multiple reasons why. Many people thought D. Kane was taking this TikToker's style and flow, and this TikToker that I'm talking about goes by the name of Ricky. People seen that D. Kane dressed oddly similar to Ricky, and people didn't like this one bit. Damn, bro, I hate that shit. I hate when people are like, oh my god, he stole this guy's style and flow. Bro, style and flow is all coming from somebody. Everyone gets inspiration from somewhere. There's no, like, original style and flow anymore. It just doesn't exist. Shit's been out for a minute. Like, being, like, a tatted, like, cholo-looking dude, nothing new. Resulting to D-Kane getting a bunch of hate comments. Another reason why people disliked D-Kane was the fact that he was trying to act like a gangster, but people couldn't take him seriously due to his height. D-Kane's height Damn. is 5'3". 5'3"? Damn, bro got nerfed. I mean, he's like a handsome dude. Let me wrong. He's got cool. Yeah, he only has hands, neck, and face tats. What the fuck? He has no tattoos on his arms. That's crazy. Too far into the future, no, for real. That's crazy. Like those are the things you just get tatted last. Like I got my. My hands were like my most recent tattoo. When people would find this out, this they would go crazy in the comments. D Kane would later on decide to switch up his content and go to the different side of TikTok. And the side of TikTok that he would go to is TikTok Lives. On these TikTok Lives, D Kane would meet a person by the name of Lalo. Lalo is a big TikTok streamer and known for his humor. Hey, roses are red. Don't talk to me. Violets are blue. I can't hear you. I'm not trying to hate. I don't know who this dude is, but like TikTok live streamers, like with us, their main like gist is like streaming on TikTok, kind of like, are kind of like bottom of the barrel stream. Like, I'm sorry, but I just don't find them funny. Don't want to hear that. Word. <laughs> like, what is he doing right now? Where, like, he said, he said a little joke. I guess she had a boyfriend named Juan left him. And he's, like, he's, like, cracking up, bro. He's tweaking. Jeez. I don't even want to know what he said. <laughs> oh, my Bye. God. Is bro okay? That's how I discovered you. Listen, my live streams are chill. I'm the exception. <laughs> Little did DK know that doing these streams with Lalo would boost his views by a lot. The first few streams that DK did with Lalo were pretty bad for DK because all Lalo would do was roast DK. Bro has a whole drawer of caterpillars. He's like, let me throw these on today. <laughs> I'm what the fuck? He said, bro has a whole drawer of caterpillars. Let me throw this one on. Okay. Fuzzled. 
<laughs> Bro, you heard him. I'm trying to build a puzzle. <laughs> But the more DK Jesus and Christ, bro. Lalo streamed, DK started to grow on Lalo, and DK would also grow on the viewers as well. And people would start to think that DK was pretty funny. You got a pink phone is crazy. <laughs> uh, I like to feel cute sometimes, little bro. What you gonna do about me feeling pretty? Throw a gate at you? And then bro said pretty, he could have said handsome or something. Oh, bro, uh, I like to feel cute sometimes. <laughs> Okay, we get it. You like to feel cute. <laughs> we get it, buddy. <laughs> oh, bro, this guy, I, I, I never thought people were funny. Like, tell jokes and then they crack up like hysterically at their own jokes. Like, if you have to do that, bro, you're trying to convince everyone it's funny. Like, Jesus Christ! Every time he laughs, it sounds like he's struggling to laugh. Yeah. I'm feeling sparkly tonight. How are you feeling tonight? Sparkly? Yo, glittery. Glitter. What you know about that glitter? I don't know oh. nothing about none of that. Oh, I know you don't. You don't, you don't be, be feeling sparkly. sparkly. Things were looking good for D Kane. D Kane's live streams would start to garner a bunch of traction. D Kane would also start to create a fan base. And instead of D Kane getting hit. Jesus, look how small his arms are compared to the rest of his body. I like how we're hating on the wrong person. Hateful and negative comments, you, he would get nice and positive Thank ones. Bro. Things were looking bright for D Kane and his career on TikTok until recently. Bro, this this Lilo Lalo guy is slaughtering him in this battle though. About TikTok battles, this guy's getting shit on right now. D Kane would get exposed for some things in his past that can destroy his career. Awkwardly long pause right now. Bro, he, sh he skipped straight to face tats, neck tats, and hand tats. The next thing that we're going to get into is Decan's downfall. A YouTuber and a TikTok. Bro, is this, a t this tattoo on his cheek or his lip right here? I guess it's a tattoo. It keeps making me think there's food on his mouth. Talker by the name of Panchito would interview one of DK's exes, and this ex of DK's would spill the beans about him, saying that DK hit her and Out his grandparents. She beats not only on females, he beats on his grandparents actually too. His grandma. The abuelito? Yeah, those those charges, he says, oh look at my charges. Two of those charges are from his grandma and his grandpa for stabbing them. Bro, he was stabbing his grandparents? Jesus. Yeah, I know psych draws. Okay. It was like <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> Wait. What? Yeah. Why did he stab the abuelitos? What did, what did they do? All we know is that they were drunk or something like that. It's on his... Bro, is bro acting like he's hard because he's got charges, but he stabbed his fucking grandparents? Jesus. This is not in that room. Hell yeah, Payson. Records or something. Yeah. Wait, that so... Was, like, I have to, well, I'll ask this at the end, but... Okay, so then, he was abusive to you, allegedly, on this call? Yes. It was... It got bad. It got bad, but it wasn't like, oh, I was letting him be. It's, it's small man syndrome. I'm not trying to hate on any short kings, but, like, short dudes always got some shit to prove, bro. Like, if you, if they're actually short. Now, we're not talking Benzo sleep short. We're talking about you know, this deep hand guy, 5'3". Like, he's like, you know what? I fucking hate being short. I'm going to stab my goddamn grandparent. I mean, I was also, you know, being defensive. Okay. Because I'm not going to let no man be me. Yeah. But... Yes, it got to the point where he, we got in this one big argument, and he got mad. He actually broke my pink phone. The pink phone that his whole audio thingy, he broke that. Two, he, um, because he got caught cheating. And then two, uh, yeah, we got in a big argument. I literally pushed him not too hard. Like, bro, you're- Even if you're... you give a short king a chance, Chad, dude is fired through. Like, yo, this dude cheated on me. And he, he's probably pretty humble. He's probably going to be, you know, feel lucky to be with Whatever, blah blah blah. Nah, even the four three or five three kings will cheat on you. Yeah. You're a ninja. You can go flying, but I didn't push him the heart. Yeah. Turn around. I'm standing up by the couch, and he turns around. He looks at me, and then he literally slaps me so hard. He starts laughing, and Damn. like we're talking was... about, like we're talking about. <laughs> yes, like one of those competitive slaps. Okay. Okay. And he laughs and he's like, oh, ha, ha, like you're funny, like I could do it again, I can do it again, I wish I did it even harder. So from there, he was Oops, like, Steph. don't make me slap you, like 
anytime we got into an altercation, he'll be like, don't make me slap you how I did last time. So that's why he has those bruises on his, I don't know if he showed you on the live, because I know I saw that he showed it on yeah. the live. But he has bruises on his chest for me, from him choking. Y'all, he's put me in a headlock three or four times to the point I couldn't breathe. And I told him to let go. And he was like, are you done yet? Are you done yet? Jesus. I was like, I'm done. Because he didn't want me to get his phone. That's also, when this ex and DK were dating. Bro, that's crazy. She was trying to go through his phone and she put he put her in a fucking headlock. She was not of age. And then, uh, by chance, by chance, how old are you looking at right now? <laughs> Y'all, let's just put it like one seven, one seven, seventeen. About to be eighteen. She's not even eighteen yet, as of this recording, chat. He was beating up a little kid. What the fuck? He was hitting on a little kid, bro. I mean, he's built like a little kid. Just because you're built like a little kid doesn't mean you date them and domestic violence them damn bro okay. <laughs> okay okay so then so then let me say this because some girls sometimes like to lie so was mr confuzzle confuzzled about your no, age or that was never people could say that no literally i literally He's was trash. like i literally asked him how old he was and he was like go look at my famous birthday so i did and he said go look at my famous birthdays Bro, <laughs> that's the funniest part of this video. How old are you? I don't know. Go look at my famous birthdays because I'm a famous person. Go check. You can't. You're so famous. You can't tell people when your birthday is. You say go check out my famous. That's fucking crazy. And then it said twenty. I was like, you're twenty. Oh, I said I was like, oh, I'm sixteen. He's like, okay, that doesn't matter. As long as we don't tell anybody, you're gonna be an adult anyway. So I think that's what he said. Oh my so god. Words, he pre -ordered you. One million on there. Sure. <laughs> Pre-order, bro. She's still 17. This ex of DKM would find out that DKM was cheating on her. And these girls were younger than DKM's ex. And DKM was asking them for feet pictures. What? Oh, nah, dude. You get caught cheating. And not only are you caught cheating, you're caught cheating and gooning in the worst way. Pedophile gooning and feet pic gooning. What a combination. Bro, asking for feet pictures for little kids. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I mean, he wanted to he wanted to act like a felon and a criminal, and I guess he was you know, he's about that life. He's actually about it, chat. My last my last breaking point was I had to go downstairs after begging him to stop talking to girls, uh -huh. two little girls, younger than me, um, to um stop texting them and asking them for feed pictures. No, <laughs> I haven't got to that point yet. Hold on. Um, he, fellas, I woke up went downstairs and he's sleeping on the couch and there's a kid on the phone with a girl asleep you live with a little sleeping kid sleeping after an argument so yeah younger girls mm -hmm. younger than you basically allegedly like a year or two mm -hmm. there's actually screenshots that i have when i was with him but i was laying next to him is crazy. and I girls know, were arguing yeah. with me and a freshman girl like, okay. that's a freshman yeah. like i'm not trying to hate but i am like if you're in defeat like at the end of the day, I guess there's nothing technically wrong with that. Like everyone's thing or whatever, but like gooning for feet pics, I think in DMs is just never a good idea. Like of age, age doesn't matter. Like you should like that's just probably something you should do. Like maybe get married, have a wife, feel really comfortable around each other, and just be like, yo, by the way, like I think you have really sexy. I like you know, look at them or something. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like that's something you should do with strangers. Like, I could never imagine sliding in DMs and like, yo, can I see your feet? Like, like imagine a girl's like, oh my God, you're so sexy. You want to see my booty? Like, nah, like, let me see those feet. I'm a proud hater. Why you like someone's dogs? It's 13, 14 year olds, nuts. That is crazy, bro. I didn't even realize how young that was. How old were, were we really freshmen at 13, 14 years old? Jesus Christ. They threw our asses in there with a bunch of 18 year olds. Oh my god, bro. That's why it's kind of weird, like the seniors who would date freshmen, I guess. I mean, I guess it's like not illegal, but like that's still kind of crazy to think about. Because, like, you do a lot of growing up between 15 and 18, like physically and mentally wise. I mean, some people grow mentally, but yeah. Yeah, literally just became freshman. And his 23 year old ass was asking a girl for feet pictures. Wait, how old yeah, literally just became freshman. And his 23 year old ass. He's 23 at this point. Was asking a girl for feet pictures. 
Yeah. Panchito would get in a TikTok live with DK and expose him for these things. I'm not worried about asking a girl for pata pics when she was uh I'm not, because I know I know what I am. I know I'm big, everybody wants clout from me. You're not okay. This give is, me a second you're, not, here. you're not finna play it like that. Okay, give me a second here. You showed her name, right? That's your ex's name? I don't know what that is. Right there? What does it say right there? And what does the date say right there? Uh what about it? Bro, is that her high school report card? 2024 2025 that's this year bro she's not even graduated from high school yet oh my god it's in the 12 at one school that's crazy what about it she's a high schooler gang what about me saying that i stopped talking to her did you listen okay. to what i said next person let's let's continue right here next person right you calling this girl right here a wifey right She's 51 backwards. Oh, hold on. We'll go to exhibit C. Wait, go back to it. Go back to it. Go back to it. Right here. Go back to it. The white toes doing it for me. Vids of them need the vids. Bro. Bro. I need, bro. Bro asked three times. Bro asked on a separate occasion. Bro asked the next day. He's exposing him hard. I want you to begin with. I'm back. Welcome back. That's crazy. This is okay. Listen, the whole like, oh, I didn't know her age when I started talking to her. Excuses getting old because, like, bro, if you don't know how old she is and it's a stranger on Instagram and like genuinely, like, if they look between like they don't look older than 20, like, you shouldn't slide in like that. You should be like, yo, how old are you, by the way? Like, like, that's always like my first like question. Like, if I'm gonna be like try to slide or do anything and like. They don't look like, and like, I don't really like girls who look, you know, 18, 17 years old. So like, it's not really what I go for, but I still like the first things I ask before flirting or doing crazy. So how old are you? It's super easy. It's so chill. It's just like, I think it should be pretty common at this point. Like, this is their first interaction. The white toes doing it for me. Vids of them need the vids. Like, bro, doesn't even ask the age or anything. Exhibit Hi, how old are you? The white toes doing it for me. Yeah, where does she say and her that, age in that? Where does she that say her age? 61 backwards. Where does she say her age? Where does she say her age? Why are you asking a girl for for pop Where does she say her age? Listen, listen, little bro. I'm answered. And why go back to asking... the other screenshot too. Go will, back to the other on. one. I'll go will. back to why, the other one. Why are you asking this girl for Go back to the other one. You don't even know her age. Go back to the for... other one. Hold on, exhibit D. Go back to the other one. That's your that's your contact. Go back the other two. All right, I'm 17. You said you're Go 17, back to the bro. Other two. Bro got a TikTok gift in the middle of being exposed as a pedophile. They gave him a cap. I said, nah, bro. I know this is giving you money, but you're capping. This. What is this proof? You lied to a girl saying you're 71 backwards, little bro. When did I lie? Where's the date in this? When did I lie? That was a year ago. <laughs> when did I lie? Not. Oh, I didn't lie. When? When did I lie? Which lie was this? Well, bro, it matches your number. That was a year ago. Where does it say the date? I have the dates. So, where's it at? Uh, it's posted on my videos. Check out my recent videos, bro. It's not, cause you would put it right here. It's on my recent video. I you can't post a whole screen recording right of it. Here. Yeah, you can't put a screen recording. You can only post screenshots and photos on when you're on the TikTok live thing. It goes to your Instagram, it goes to your number, everything, no, you know what I'm saying? Now pull up the other two that you just showed them. So here, here's the thing, here's the thing, man. And I'm gonna be honest with you. You can't win with people like you because you're just gonna keep arguing back and forth. Lalo would find out about this and That's get in a TikTok live with D-Kane. No, one of the D-Kane's always trying to be all freaky at the club, getting up on these, like, young girls. Nah, you're weird, D-Kane, bro. I thought you were sorry. I thought you were different, bro. I thought you was a real member on the guy. I don't take him seriously. Like, you don't even be banging for the set, bro. Like, like you into these young girls? Ah, bro. You tripping. DK would also get pressed at the mall. And these people yeah. would confront DK on why he was talking to girls that weren't of age. Bro, he looks so small. Oh, he's, he's so small, dude. Why are you talking a 15-year-old girl? Give me my shit. 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 Give me my shit.
Bro, you want to fuck a 15-year-old girl, bro? Don't give me my You want to fuck a 15-year-old girl, bro? Sammy, shout out motherfucking Sammy, sweetheart for the gifted. Turn the fuck up, I appreciate you. It's a world to me. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in, everyone. One final thing that I would like to add is that Dekan broke up with his new girlfriend recently, and the reason why they broke up is because Dekan put his hands on her, and she would show proof. But this okay. is just proof that cops were involved. So y'all know. Damn. Damn. I said the same thing as I got. But I'm not gonna. She was also at D Kane's house and trying to leave, but D Kane wouldn't let her. So she had to sit at D Kane's window and scream at the neighbors to call the cops. This is crazy. Uh... Oh, Yes, I look embarrassing and I have to sit on the window still because it's not letting me leave and his daughter is already here. Um, tell them why you just laid your hands on me right there. I did, show me, show me the bruises. My fucking back is on. Um, but if you had bruises, wouldn't you want to call them? Oh my god, bro. If you had bruises, wouldn't you want to call them? Um, because your legs, your legs look this fine. This crazy. Your legs look fine. You didn't grab my legs, but you grabbed me by my arm. Oh, so if you have bruises, why don't you want to show them to the camera? I would, but I'm not taking off my jacket because I, don't, mm. I have a bra on. Mm. I have a bra on. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. Mm. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not taking off my jacket because I don't have a bra on. I have a bra on. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Yeah, I'm not this is crazy, chat. Damn. And that went on for like 30 minutes to an hour until my mom finally got there and the cops got there. What's the most surprising about this is that not many people are aware of these things that D-Kane has done, but this was the rise and fall of D-Kane. If you enjoyed this video, Bro. consider liking and subscribing. But I'll see you guys in the next video and peace. People get a little TikTok clout and they just go crazy. I mean, honestly, he would have been that way.